I said he literally woke up. He wasn't playing around. He wasn't, he wasn't fidgeting with any gadgets or any cell phone or any iPad or anything. He wasn't texting anybody. He literally woke up and understood the moment, understood the time, understood the importance, understood, hallelujah, that God is in his holy place uh, and that everyone should be subject. God, because you woke this young man up today, uh, I pray a special prayer over his life. Oh God, I pray that you will set before him an open door, God, that no man would be able to shut it. God, I pray that the same favor that you extended to me, huh? it doesn't matter what family you were born into, it doesn't even matter what they're able to give you or not give you. God says, I got you in the hollow of my hand. Huh? God says, I already have a plan for your life. Huh? Hallelujah, I already have a place of greatness for you. And you just have to remain Hallelujah, under the shadows of the Almighty God. You don't have to fight for it. You don't have to pull anybody down to get it. You don't have to stab anybody in the back for it. You don't have to cheat for it. You don't have to steal for it. God told me to tell you that he's already set a cheer for you at the table of evil. Oh, that ought to make you happy because it means that everything Hallelujah, the other people needed uh, to obtain success. Uh, you're not going through the conventional method. God is getting ready uh, to bring you up higher. God, I thank you for doing it. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Beauty for ashes. This is what God told me to say to you. Beauty for ashes. The garment of praise for the season of heaviness. So I want you to remember that. It doesn't matter what you go through from this point on. You will not curse the darkness. You will not sit in a room and mope and cry. But you will put your chest in the ear. You will put your shoulders back. And you will say, the Lord has done. 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 Great things for me. We're off on that. Oh, give God praise. 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 When I'm begging for some time, it's not because I want to monopolize the whole session. But there's a ministry that God has put in me that requires some time. It requires some time. It requires some time, amen, to flow in the spirit. Amen. And everybody that can cut back and give me a little bit more time. Amen. Start learning to cut back. You don't know how God is going to end the service. Just give me a little bit more time to minister. Oh, glory to God. Because God, God can reveal some things and God can show some things, amen, that can bring people out of some dark places. And you just need to give me some time. You need to give me some time to flow and some time to let God have his way. Ah, uh, there's a dimension of my ministry. There's a dimension of my calling that requires some time, some time, some time, some time. Father, I thank you for everyone at the altar. Oh, God, I cannot lay hands on everyone today. But I'm depending upon the Holy Ghost uh, to give your people a special touch so that they know that you heard them huh? so that they know that you understand them so that they know that you're moving in them so that they know that the broken pieces are being put back together there's some people here at the altar God, that you tell me to let them know huh? they're under the hearing of my voice huh? that they have a limited amount of time. Huh? Oh, God, to take, oh, Lord, to take advice from Jehovah God. You've been speaking and they have not been listening. You've been warning and they've been giving a deaf ear. Huh? You've been calling and they've been running. Huh? You want to be the center of their attention and they've given other people that place. Huh? But God, you tell me today, huh? to blow the trumpet in Zion huh, and let people know there's a limited uh, amount of time uh, 
for people to take this word seriously. And God, we don't want to leave this place Hallelujah. thinking that we have tomorrow. Hallelujah. Time is limited. Yes. Every worshiper, put your hand in the air. We give you all the glory. We worship you, O oh God. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you for this day, God. Thank you for tabernacling with us. Thank you for sending in special visitors. Oh God, with the right spirit. Ah, to oh God, to engulf this worship experience. Oh God, to marinate on this word. And to release this spirit into the atmosphere. I don't know if anybody else feel the liberation of the spirit Hallelujah. in the atmosphere. But there is a liberating spirit here. That says you can leave all of your burdens here. You can leave all of your frustrations here. You can leave all of your cares right here. Uh, God have your back. God have your front. God have your sides. Uh, God have your top and your bottom. God have things under control today. And God for this we thank you. Thank you Lord. Oh I need a few more thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. You're not thanking man. You're thanking God. We thank you God. Hallelujah. Dying the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank you God. We thank you God. We bless you God. We glorify you. We adore your holy name. God, I want to pray for my children today. Ah, oh, Josiah's and Renias and oh God, all these little kids. Amen. We pray for them today. Oh God. Shaquan and all of these children. We pray for them today, God, as summer is winding down. We pray for them today. We pray that you would watch over them this summer. We pray that you would shield them. Oh God, and you've done just that. God, we thank you. We are praying that your hands continue to be over our children, our offspring. These are our lamps. Oh God, this is who we are pouring ourselves into. Continue to watch over them and provide for them. Shield them from harm and danger. Shield them from sudden death and accident. God, shield them from perversion and from child molesters. Shield them, oh God, from drugs and, oh God, all kinds of uh, debauchery. God, shield them. Shield their lives, God, from many things that we have gone through. Shield them that they would not even have to go through, God. And I pray, God, that you create a, and cultivate an atmosphere that they can come into and they can experience the blessings of Almighty God. Oh, God, thank you that they don't have to have parents like Jeroboam, God, but that they can have parents today, oh, God, that want to see them do great things for God, want to see them carry on a legacy, want to see them be better than we are, want to see them go places that we only dreamt that we would go. Oh, God, we want to see them huh, do things and make a mark on this community. Oh, God, that we've only tried to do. So, God, I pray greatness over our children right now. I pray success over our children. I pray spiritual insight over our children. I pray for future leaders huh, in the church. Huh. I pray for future leaders. Huh, in the political arena. I pray for future leaders in the schools. I pray for future leaders, oh God, in the Senate, in the House of Representatives, in the Supreme Court. Ah, oh, y'all don't have to agree with me, but I don't believe God will give me a great ministry and not bring some great young men and women right out of it. So God, I pray greatness over their lives right now. Oh God, I pray that we'll be proud of them. Proud of their contribution. Proud of their intellect. Proud of their spiritual insight. And God, even as technology, oh God, becomes greater. I pray for a greater work. I pray for a greater work. I pray for a greater work. I pray that this message would go all over the land. I pray that this ministry would be a blessing to people all over the land. And I thank you for doing it. 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 
In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We are happy for our sister from Concord Baptist. Amen. I'm humbled when people from established churches, amen, come in. We are still in the grassroots stage. Amen. And we are still in the trenches. I'm honored to have you here. Amen. And I pray that you were blessed. Amen. And that you can be even an ambassador that says there's a little church in Brooklyn where people are still crazy about the Lord. Amen. Thank God for you, young man. Amen. You're special, man. You're special. Amen. God has a great work for you to do. Don't ever forget it. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to hug you. No, you're coming up for a hug. Amen. You're getting a hug today. Y'all may as well greet each other and stop looking at me funny. I'm going to hug her first. Yes, you. Why are you looking at me funny? Stop streaming, sir. <laughs> I'm getting ready to get intimate. <laughs> Amen. Turn this thing off. 